Welcome back to Lacey of Vikings where I'm just getting like Everyone's getting a coalition against me right now. Everyone is like hating on me. I don't know why I don't know why it's just like everyone's like all of a sudden like uh, herpa -derp, We're going to clear one Us and I'm like I don't like that stop it Okay, so we're gonna go up to plus two to stability Which is something you know that's been long awaited that means we now get really good modifiers means we now get some tech bonuses too to pike men and now we can change our, our actual units that's not good oh no we can't good it's like because i don't i don't really know why i would change it to because i kind of like what we have right now and yeah right now the main thing we are falling behind in is administrative tech but that's because we had to course so many things that we're just starting to get back into it but our army right now is probably one of the most advanced in europe i won't even deny it's probably one of the most advanced in europe's in Europe. We have almost all the maximum amount of army that can be supported by us. Um, discipline, military defensiveness, we discovered agents, whatever. Okay. So, I'm basically, what I think I'm going to use, do, is basically, um, let's build up some more, some more, like, constables. Let's build one right here. Right here in Dent, in that place. Alright, but what I'm going to do, guys, is now that I have this... Okay, good. You guys actually did do that. Okay, so now you guys go over here. You guys will protect my southern border. You guys are protecting my... this border. And yeah, um... So basically, we have a co a correlation against us right now. It's kind of scary. Kind of not. Can I see who's in Independence Guaranteed by Sweden? Uh, choose with. I know Norway's in a, in a coalition against us, in a coalition against Sweden. So let's see. Let's see who their coalition members are so I can kind of, you know, plan accordingly. Because I think Lithuania, yeah, they're in a coalition against me. So we discovered agents. Yeah, you see, you guys are all doing the same things. We can no longer claim that. Oh, dang. Is our rightful place. So I basically get a time limit. I don't think my allies would join in if I declared war right now. I don't even have allies. What am I talking about? Okay, we... Denmark, Moster, Cornwall... The Valerian Order. I'm just gonna hold... If I hold them right there, I don't really have to deal with them. Okay. So let me get... Guys, I'm just basically gonna get my tactics straight here. France, the loyalty of the Cardinals, yada yada yada. Because I just want to win a quick war. I don't want to win a big, gigantic war. I just want to win a quick, quick war that will, you know, give us the glory and honor that we need. I also could be patient right now, but I'm not. So if I was to declare war on Norway, a coalition event would fire where... Oh, Novgorod? Wait, Novgorod's this. Yeah, that's not really gonna... That's not really going to be threatening, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys, that's just not threatening. Okay, but that is... I'm not sure if my men in the, lower, in the lower region could actually deal with that many people. So let's build our last troop right here. One more cannon, and then we might go to war. Maybe in that amount of time between building up a new army, maybe they might... People might actually, like, decide, hey, maybe we shouldn't be at war with this kid. But I don't know. It seems like... Seems like all my next door neighbors are basically are basically mad at me and are not gonna become unmad at me, so. Um this is gonna be a good war. That's all I gotta say. This is gonna be a good war. And Molster! Oh my goodness, you guys have almost united all of wait, you guys beat against England too? Holy shoot! Molster, unite the last place and become island. Dang, I did not know they Uh yeah. You guys are probably not that powerful of a nation. Uh, I know Pisklov is not a powerful nation at all. Okay, but we're just going to, like, wait here until... Either they leave the alliance, or something else happens. Because I'm not... Or I need to wait until my, uh, cannon comes. 
And then we'll basically go into the last war that we ever need to go into. I'm not going to spend any more money because I might need that money to buy lots of mercs if things go wrong. Man, you guys are becoming big. We also don't have really good relationships with you guys. But you guys are in a coalition against... Why are you in a coalition against... Scotland? No. Yes? No. In... Didn't want to do that. Okay. Let's see. Let's. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of infamy. But I had to do it. I just had to do it. It was the only way we could remain sane as a people. So we had to take that three infamy. I'm not going to take a three stability. A one stability hit for. Something stupid like this. But that infamy just like affected my economics. So I'm going to have to be really be careful with that. So. We're really going to be playing this out, um, how much can they raise? This will depend. This will depend if I can go to war right now. If they can raise a lot of troops, then we're basically going to be boned. Okay, so let's go to army. Number of provinces, colonies, advisors, the best in the world. Previous rulers. Army, where's armies? There it is, armies. Leviathan order. Oh man, it's so hot in my room right now, like. Seriously, it's like getting 3,000 manpower, 14,000, total 3,000, they are weak as heck. Are you kidding me? With all these guys, I could basically stomp. You know what? Prove it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to definitely go for it. You know what? Let me save it right now. Just to be sure that this is definitely what I want to do. And I'll be right back to make sure this is directly what I want to do. So see you guys just in a second. Uh, wait until the save just to make sure. Because I want to make sure this is definitely what I want to do. So I'll check all the alliances and make sure nothing else happens. So see you guys in a second. Okay. Didn't really check all the alliances. I'm just going to do it anyways. <laughs> uh, Hodenstein has no troops right now. So you know what? This is like perfect timing. I mean... They have no troops. Um, you know, I almost got the rest. You know, let's get the rest of. Actually, let's just get the rest of my cores in um, there. There we go. I wanted to get the rest of my cores there. That way, it gets my inflation even less. Not inflation, but my problems. Man, I'm really gonna have to. I'm really gonna have to figure out how do we. How do you decrease that? But this is all happening. This is all happening. But anyways, I'm ready for this. Are you guys ready for this? Uh, I, I'm so ready for this. Finally, to unite the rest of Scandinavia, we're going to do it. See how many people join in? Okay. Cornwall, Novgorod, Muster, Levine, and Order, and Denmark. Okay, so basically no one that would really... And most of this ability is about one. The only one that's most is doing actually pretty good in terms of stability. Um... Right now, in terms of militaristic power, I am beating them. And I mean, this is all of them combined. I am beating them. So, that is good. So, what my general strategy is, is that I'm going to divide these guys. You guys go over here. going to go crush this army over here. You guys go down here. You guys are going to crush this army right here. You guys right here. Go crush the rest in Slevin Band. Um, you guys right over here. Get land right over here. Do I might war with Novgorod too? Novgorod. Yes, I am. Okay. So we will have to be mindful of some Novgorodian troops. I don't think that they have very much in the way of troops. So, yeah, they don't. They do not have the way. They don't have much in the way of troops. And we basically, wow, it's amazing how even right now we have the most militaristically advanced army. Okay, you guys go right here. Go inside. I don't want you guys dying. And um, you guys get on to those islands. To get onto those islands. Let's go take these guys out. Should be able to win pretty easily. You have cannons. Just gonna say that now. Just gonna put that out there. It shouldn't even be much of a challenge. You guys have cannons. You guys. You guys are gonna go after a whole entire conquest of of um, Novgorod because we need to go defeat Novgorod. Um, we're also gonna be very mindful of all the troops. Okay, you guys are going back already. Go kill them. Go kill them. Okay, and Denmark is out of the game, people. That was really quick. Okay, so Leviathan Order is 
basically being conquered. Um, we have some Novgorod troops right there. I can ignore them for as long as I want. They're not going to be that important. Go wait for the Novgorod troops to decide where they want to settle so I can start taking them down. Um, over here, Hodenstein doesn't have any army, so we're all good. Basically, we're all good. <laughs> if I must, if, summing up all my gibberish and everything, too many cowards. Well, that doesn't, to once, that does not actually kill me in terms of manpower, so. Okay, they're starting to get a decent sized military, which I don't really like. Okay. Uh, now, we need to, s once we siege down the rest of that, then we'll go after Navarre, and then we're going to go after Novgorod, and then we're going to, we're basically going to try to get Novgorod out of here, that way they don't have to deal with that, and then the Livonian Order, I'm so sorry that, <laughs> uh, uh, it feels like every, this is like everyone that used to be our ally is now an enemy, like we are fighting all of our old enemy friends, Horn sign into a mill. King, okay, this guy is now succession to the throne. Is he really good? Eh, he's better than the last guy, at least. That's the only thing I need to know. He's better than the last guy. Which is all you need to know is the rulers. Was he better than the last guy? Oh my goodness, these guys are really starting to become really powerful over here in Nevera. I'm really starting to worry about that. Let me... Once we siege down that land, though, then we'll be able to deal with whatever is happening right there. Um, we're basically, like I said, we're basically going to be conquering the rest of all the land we need for the form Scandinavia. So, Denmark should fall pretty quickly, then I should go down to Hodenstein, kill all those guys. Shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, okay, that seat should be done very quickly. Um, Battle of Savens, again. Yippee! I'm not going to build anything right now. I'm going to dispute it succession. Really? Somebody actually has a disputed succession against us, even though we have almost strong claims, and our legitimacy is pretty dang high right now. Okay, this is about to fall to us. Um, yes, the siege. Wait, what siege is this? Oh, that fell to us, yes. Okay, now go attack Nevera. We're going to go destroy the rest of these guys over here. This is actually a pretty good army, too. It has lots and lots of cannons. So, it's going to be a really big shock to, the, to Novgorod. They're not going to be able to deal with this. Let's be honest here, people. They're not going to be able to deal with the new invention of cannons. So, they're going to die pretty quickly. Yeah, you see, they have, like, nothing. Okay, now we're going to go straight to Novgorod's capital. Because we don't need to be... Well, actually... Actually, we could just, like, sit right here, spread out our troops, and go like this. So we don't we don't have to be in one province, you know, attracting much much infamy or something. And it seems like Novgorod's already busy too. So we're gonna help whatever's happening here. Um Oh, they're annoying me. Go kill them. Now that they're established, they should be willing to sit there and let us conquer them. Over here, you guys are definitely motivated. Let's see. 20 days left into the next phase. Okay. Okay, and you guys... Oh my goodness. That's going to be an annoying army to deal with. That's going to be a definitely annoying army. Yeah, Novgorod seems to be the only one making troops right now, so I think I'm going to just concentrate my majority of my soldiers onto the Novgorod army, because they seem to be annoying, annoying me way faster than anyone else. Ah, uh, shoot. That's not good. That's not good, especially since we're almost done converting, too. I I don't want that to end up being a major thing, so... We may have to quickly... We have to get Novgorod out of this war. That's basically what I'm trying to say. We have to get Novgorod out of this war as quickly as possible, because we need to get to the next siege phase, or whatever you want to call it. But we need these guys out of the war so that we can deal with more important matters. Um... Okay. So Novgorod, do you guys want to end your war? Can never sign it. Oh, he can never sign a peace. So basically what I'm going to have to do is siege this guy down. So I'm just going to abandon my siege efforts and go down here and go destroy these rebels. And keep some men over there because I can deal with the rest of these guys. Oh my goodness. Norway's becoming way powerful. I don't like that. And now we're just sieging down the rest of this stuff. Doesn't really seem like we have the rest of this war basically in the bags. The bags, everyone. So we're going to be able to conquer Slindsland. Great, okay, so we finally got a good battle with these guys. Let's hope we can destroy all their men. There we go. 
And now they're gonna go to like Chundalag or something. I don't know. But just keep following them. That's all we have to do is just keep following them. Okay, we got new technology. Get some more Caravel things. Caravels, Carax. Okay, we all upgraded. That's good. Sending off all these guys to go kill. Alright, you guys. You guys are almost done with your seeds. That means we're about to have Denmark underneath our control. Which will then give us a lot of inf That will give us a lot of stuff. Because then we'll, we're basically... Once that ends, then we just need to conquer the rest of Norway's land right here. And then we basically need a court, and then we're done. We're officially done, guys. The formation of Sweden might actually happen in this episode. Think about that, guys. Think about that. The formation of Sweden will happen in this episode. Okay, so now that I conquered the capital of these guys, they're going to give it up. So, a member of the coalition can never sign a peace. Okay, well, I'm just going to ask for all of this in a war. As for Norway and this. All in a big gigantic piece. Because so I want I want to make sure I get both of these. And then once I'm done with both of these, then we can start talking about other stuff. So let me send these soldiers back down here. Have these soldiers right here to guard my provinces to make sure that, that those Norway troops don't get too rambunctious. I'm going to start moving these. And if they don't really accept peace, I can always keep sending more and more men up here to go deal with more and more. Um, let me make sure I know what my diplomatically, who I'm at war with right now. Oh, I'm not war with Holdenstein. Yes! So that means it actually gives me a little bit more freedom. And Molster is at war with me. Dang it, I was giving you guys compliments about how good... Oh, my goodness. Okay, and now... Norway. Alright, sue for peace. I want these two provinces. Give me up those two provinces, and we are good. Okay, no. You guys are going to fight me to the very last breath, I guess. It's going to be one of those kind of wars. Okay, and you guys are going to be gaining that. Wow, we have a lot of spiders in my house. Although, it's extremely humid in here, so I can imagine that this is like the prime place to be right now because I'm, I'm overheating my computer. I already know it. But I'm not losing, I'm not going to finish this. I'm finishing, basically guys, what I'm saying is I'm finishing the unification of Scandinavia in this sitting tonight because you know what, there's not going to be very many other opportunities where I'll have just this much time to do what I need to do. Uh, no, don't do that. Relations, improve relations. Yeah, just keep improving relations. We want to make sure these guys are happy with us, completely and utterly happy. Oh, and Denmark's over here with their army, I should call it. I'm going to keep my men over there. Um, we're going to send this. I mean, I basically, basically, guys, I got the situation under control. I mean, we're going to win this war now. There, there is not much chance I, I could actually... Well, let's just save this. There's not much chance I can blunder this up to the point of, you know, messing up. So I guess that's the maximum amount of relationships we can get with these guys. Oh. Um, Oh, that kind of stinks, because I wish I could actually, like, um, increase our relationships anymore, but I guess not. It's once you get to a certain amount of disliking this, no one likes you anymore. Okay, so let's see, where are you guys going? Let's see, Low Morale, Lapland, and Havgurad. So I'm going to meet them right here. I'm just going to destroy the rest of these two armies. Just go to Lapland. I mean, I'm going to destroy the rest of these two armies, and I'll deal with the rest of what's ever going on right here. Let's just go after the, our friends, the Livonian Order. Let's just let's just start destroying the rest of them. Uh, since we basically got whatever we need to done. Okay, and you guys are about done. Yeah, I'm about... Th this, this is already about done. I'm so proud of my men. They did exactly what I wanted them to do. I didn't even have to tell them. They destroyed. <laughs> they destroyed all they needed to destroy. They dis they fought all they needed to fight. I mean, we are. We are basically what I wanted it to be. And my king, we have finally managed to convert. Oh my goodness, that took a heavenly amount of time. Oh my goodness, and now we can actually start converting them to our correct culture. Oh my goodness, that took an insanely amount of lot of time. 
Okay, don't don't come near me, dude. Don't come near me. I'm going to kill you if you do. Like seriously, little bug, I will kill you if you do. Not accepted culture. I have to convert to Orthodox. I'll deal with you know. I'll deal with that at a later date. I'm just happy that one province is now underneath my control. Let's go. Let's just be happy of that before I start dealing with the rest of this. Go combine with these guys. We need to kill these guys off. Seriously, we need to seriously kill the rest of these armies off before I deal with anything else. Okay, now the Denmark are keeping me blockaded right there. That's fine, me. I mean, I don't mind being blockaded, and but I'm winning the war in the overall run. Cause not only do I have more places blockaded, but I'm also like destroying them by a lot. So, okay, all you guys just combine. That way, when they attack, they have a 12. They have 12 infantry. This is going to destroy these guys right here in Denmark, which is good. That's exactly what we want. So, bye bye Denmark, and then we're gonna destroy that Norway army. And then we're just gonna spread our troops right around here and conquer the rest of Novgorod. And then we're all good. After that, we're just all good. Okay, go destroy the rest of Novgorod's troops. Wherever they're going. 30th. Okay, let's go destroy them. Like, let's go destroy them. Okay, because we need to go destroy them. Well, they're probably moving to Trundelag, if I must guess. Trundelag, so you guys follow them. Okay. Fight them. Yes, we got them right in the mountains. Hopefully, we haven't... We have so many troops, we should be able to overrun them. Okay, it seems like they're still alive for some reason. Dang it. And we should not... Your units have several casualties. We should not be suffering from manpower yet. Not yet, at least. Because we still have a good enough round. Boost ability up to three. Should increase my money, by the way. I don't even know what my money was at. Okay, now that we have this spread out around the borders. Okay, now we basically got control over everything. And now we can basically go spread out on Navarro's terms. Go right here, go right here. I mean, yeah, <laughs> this coalition. This correlation against me has kind of failed. Like, we kind of just swooped in and destroyed everything they had. Oh, speaking of which, just to make sure that, um, let's get all you guys right here. Combine all you guys, I'm going to support my military for a little bit. And there's a reason, because I want to make sure that this island right here stops producing troops. That's kind of annoying that that is still producing troops even after this point. Um, let me get this right here. Go right here, we're gonna go sink down this. And you see, like, oh my goodness, how many troops can they create in Finnmark? Wow! Hmm. And Silesian heretics, I don't really care about that. That's not really. Okay. Um. That's not really a part of my control. Alright, you guys get on the boats. Okay. Get on the boat. Okay, get your troops over here. Oh, they basically have rebels anyway, so I shouldn't have to worry about them. So, um, get. We're gonna land them right onto their heads. My king, the province has, has now has the culture we desire. Yes! Really? That quick? Wow. Let's convert. To, let's just convert all this Catholic. The Catholicism. Oh my goodness, that was awesome. Now these guys are all Swedish and they're giving me the full amount of taxes. Not that much taxes, but now I got copper. Ha 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 ha. It's powerful stuff, man, when you get copper. So good, dude. Okay, troops are not evenly spread out. I could probably spread them out a little bit better, but they've been hunting rebels so long. Okay, let me go kill these guys. And do we have any troops trying to move over here to try to reclaim lands? No! So... Looks like we're moving into all of these lands undisturbed. We are just... Okay, then let's go right here. That should be the last. Okay. You guys go right here. Destroy these guys right over here. Once this siege falls right here, then we basically got all we need. <laughs> like, legitly, people, we have all we need. Because Norway is going to have the utmost maximum amount of war score. 
And right now, we've even, like, in this world, we were supposed to, like, lose a lot of stuff. We're basically war enthusiasm high. <laughs> Every, and then everyone that's, like, been fighting me has been like, no. Everyone that hasn't been fighting me is just like, yay. And then the other people that are like, no. This isn't good. Okay, everyone go kill these guys. Okay. They have a point. Lose prestige. I can lose some prestige. <laughs> I don't mind losing prestige. The siege of Dalport is over. Look at that. Just look at that, guys. Okay. I'm gonna go combine with these guys. That way, and then we're gonna go defeat these guys' this army. Alright. But before that, let's see if Norway wants to peace out. With all of my demands intact. No. They don't want to do all of my demands. So, still wartime. I'm not... <laughs> I'm basically, guys, like I said, I'm not, this is the last war I'm fighting in this game ever. Well, <laughs> that, that's, a, that's, a, that, that was an understatement. Let me, let me be more clear. Um, this is the last war I'm fighting where I'm going to try to gain any more cores for Scandinavia. I'm forming Scandinavia this, in the next episode, or this episode, wherever, wherever this is going to be. Okay, the very end order fell. Let me kill these rebels off just so I make sure I, they're all dead. Um, next, let me go hunt down these... So now Muscovy troops kind of went away. Let's go send some troops over here. Uh, yeah, we could basically just go start conquering the rest of the Liberian order. Um, the last bit of Novgorod troops, go destroy them. Shouldn't be that hard. And then we basically have all this stuff underneath our control, which is going to be great. Because now they can't do anything to us. Dut, dut. Yeah. Okay, the last Novgorod troops, all dead. Okay, move my move my uh, soldiers down here. We're gonna start taking more attack, attack, attack outposts on these uh, Leviathan Order people. Mm. Man, my throat's starting to hurt after a while. Yeah, let's go like this, and then we're just gonna. Yep, they didn't want to move because they thought the siege was so important. Really, that siege was not important. You guys should have moved. Okay, split my men, go right here, you guys go right there, that way we block any kind of men coming through our land, and we're basically occupying a lot of land, <laughs> but let's be honest with you, we're occupying a ton of land, like if we want to, we could like do 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 do, span all the way to the Balkans and get what I wanted, but I don't want to do that, I just need to get what I need and get out, that's all I need to do, get in, get out. peace offer from Norway. Okay, so now they're looking for peace. So let's see, will they accept my peace terms? Nope. This offer Norway will secede after Norway will renounce their claims on no uh, nope. I only want what I want and I'm not getting anything less. Like seriously, if I'm gonna have to fight against every single one of your allies in this war just for okay let's kill these guys first we need to go destroy the rest of Novgorod's sacred army because right now they're, they're, they're basically annoying me okay the, the siege one of the sieges is over with this siege go right over here okay and we're almost oh my goodness I'm gonna keep saying that until we are once I, I think if once I get this finally done with, I'll have a 100% war score, so he'll just accept whatever I have to say. Which is what I exactly want him to do. Destroy them. Destroy them. I think, I don't think they can escape anywhere too, so these guys are going to die. Do, 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 die. Do, 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 die. Do, 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 die. Oh my goodness. And then our king, man, this, this boy king, he's going to be the one... He's so lucky. He's going to be the first emperor of New Scandinavia. Like, he should... This is definitely going to be his claim to fame. I mean, he's going to be the empire, emperor that basically united all of Scandinavia. Okay, will you guys accept my diplomatic deal now? Yes? Can I get away with some money? Yes, I can. Okay. Let's get this. Oh, my goodness. Okay, guys. We finished up with that. So let's see, what is this mainly composed of? Okay, I'm gonna have you guys all combine into one army. You guys go over here. 
you guys go over here. And I want to thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time when we form Scandinavia.